Another free mower, this one I got off Facebook Marketplace. It is a Husqvarna 21 inch push mower. It has a 149cc, six and three quarter horsepower Kohler engine. Crack in the deck, engine shroud missing, handles wobbly, starter assembly or the recoil obviously does not work. The engine is not locked up. Engine oil, it's below the ad mark. That's an indication they didn't take care of the mower. Let's check out the air filter. Oh yeah, yeah they didn't take care of this. That's pretty bad. Now let's make sure it has a blade and that the blade is tight. And that's yes on both counts. So now with the recoil assembly or the starter assembly, whatever you want to call it, it has lost its tension. The question is why. Inside either the spring or the metal band, it has broken or it has lost its anchor point. Let me get the rope off. Tension should be building inside right now in that spring so that when I release it, it should spin back and it does not. And it's not broken. This has lost its anchor point. This should be through that slot. That hook on the spring should tie in right here. Problem is, in order to hook onto that, it needs to be down here towards the center. So how am I gonna hold that down where it needs to be while I hook that on. All right, I'm still thinking about how to get that hooked on, but I'm just bending this further down the anchor point so that it grabs that corner better and it won't slip off again like it was when we took it apart. I got a little bit of a plan, which is to bend the spring or bend this metal band to bend it in so that when I release it, the hook will be down here in a position to catch that when I put the pieces back together and turn it counterclockwise. I have no idea if that's gonna work, but what I'm gonna try. All right, I got it. That should work, right? We want that hook to hook onto that edge right there, which should happen when I put these two together and then turn it counterclockwise, it should catch. And that did work because I can feel tension building. I'm gonna stop right there and I'll hold that tension on. Put a screwdriver through here to keep the wheel from spinning back. And now to get the cord back in, I have to line up. That hole has to line up with that hole. Right about there. Let me get a lighter so I can melt this and pull it straight so it'll go through that hole. And don't try this at home because you could really burn yourself. So don't do what I'm doing right now. Tie a knot in it. And actually I'm going to do a double knot to be sure that it won't slide back through gonna melt it a little bit so hopefully it won't come undone again don't try this at home pull the screwdriver out while I'm still holding the tension hopefully I wound up enough tension to pull the cord all the way back in and I did there's a knot right there that stops it put the spring back in the holes line up with the ends of these pieces that's why there's a gap in the metal on either side for these to come out and catch the flywheel Putting some silicone spray on it. I'm gonna check out the carburetor, see how that looks. These are 10 millimeter nuts. I'm also gonna disconnect the fuel line and drain the tank. Carburetor is not terrible. I've seen much worse. A little bit of dirt, but not too bad. It's clean, no dirt and no water. I'm not gonna put the air filter housing on, but I am gonna put these two 10 millimeter bolts back on because the carburetor right now is loose. All right, a couple more things to do before we try to crank it. Number one, I wanna set the gap between the ignition coil and the flywheel because right now there is no gap at all. That coil is right up against the flywheel and we want a little bit of a gap so I'm using a recipe card for that. A business card would work as well. So we need to loosen this stud and this bolt. Now I want to find the magnet on the flywheel. It's right there. I'll pull the ignition coil away from the flywheel a little bit. Put that card in between and now I'll spin the flywheel until the magnet is right in front of the ignition coil and you'll see the coil be drawn in just like that. Tighten these bolts back down. Now pull the card out and the gap is set. Now let's clean the spark plug. 
check the gap first. It should be 0 0.03 and it's close to that. Now some brake parts cleaner. This is ethanol free fuel, old engine oil. Not gonna waste the good stuff yet until I figure out this will run. All right, here we go. Somebody gave away a perfectly good lawnmower. It just needs some TLC. They cut the grass when it was wet and left it stuck on the underside. And I guess that led to all this rust. I have to rinse it out with a garden hose and then I'll put some kind of rust inhibitor on here and then patch this up with JB Weld. I didn't notice this earlier, but the blade's on upside down. The cutting edge should be right here, and it's on the back side. I gotta take that off and spin it around. I'm going to take the carburetor off, take the bowl off, and clean the main jet out. I believe I'm going to have to take this temperature switch for the choke. I'm going to have to take that off because that's the only way that I can see to get this arm unhooked. And then this bracket's going to have to come off. There are two T20 Torx screws holding that on. These 10 millimeter nuts have to come back off. Oh, and I'm going to have to drain the fuel tank again. I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this, but I don't see it. When I reinstall this arm, I just have to remember that it comes up from the bottom. Now this spring. Now the fuel line. Now the carburetor should slide off. Now let's get the bowl off and check out the main jet. This is 10 millimeter. When I reinstall the bowl, I wanna make sure to put this Phillips head screw right down from the Kohler where it's stamped in the metal. Now that might not make a difference, but I want to put the bowl back in the same position it was in. All right, there is some crud down there in the bowl. You can see that, but we'll get that cleaned out. Now to get the main jet out of this tube, we're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. That is all the way unscrewed. It just doesn't want to come out. There's the main jet and the gold circle you can see down there that should be the emulsification tube and that should slide out as well. Maybe not on this model. So whatever that is, I'm going to leave it in there. And now with the main jet, if we see light right through the middle of it and it's clean, we do see light, but I'm going to run a small piece of wire through there just to be sure that's completely clear. Now after cleaning it with the wire and the brake cleaner, we can see that it is completely clear. Very sticky and gummy. Maybe it's just a mixture of rust and dirt and old gasoline that has gummed up. Now some of it is definitely rust. To clean the carburetor out a little bit. Let's get the float and the needle out first. So this slides out. Now the float and the needle valve. And that actually looks pretty clean. Now some carb spray. Now to put it all back together, the main jet, and I want to line that screw up with the side that has Kohler on it. It's ready to put back on. 
Now this arm, remember it goes back up through from the underside and then it spins around like that. And now the arm for the automatic choke goes right there. Just like that. And if you're doing this on a mower that has this carburetor, I would strongly suggest that you take a picture of this before you start. Because if you don't remember how that little arm goes back on, that might mess you up. And the easiest way to get to this 10 millimeter nut is an open end wrench. And there's a heat shield right there that you have to bend back out of the way. This right here, you might have to bend that out of the way. Now the spark plug. Now with the handle, this is the style that folds up and even with this as tight as it'll go, you can see how loose that is. That's better than it was, but still not good enough. So I'm gonna drill a hole through both of these and put a nut and bolt in there, one on either side. <clears throat> All right, that should hold it. That should be fine. Still needs an engine shroud. And a longer pull cord because this won't reach back to the handle. Those are easy fixes. This is the most important thing. Keep looking for free stuff. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.